All right, as the title says, this lesson is about acid-base equilibrium equations. So we're going to start by getting a definition of an acid. So for science theory, the definition of an acid that we're going to use is it is a proton donor. Now, what the heck does that mean? Well, it means a substance that's able to give up or donate proton. So what is a proton really? Well, let's go back to some earlier science where you learned about uh, the structure of atoms. And we learned that in the nucleus of an atom, there are uh, neutrons and there are protons. So if we have one proton and zero neutrons, and then outside the nucleus, we have one electron, this would be a hydrogen atom. Now, if we were to take away that electron, if that electron were to move to another substance and it was no longer there, then what we'd be left with is a hydrogen ion that would be missing a, a negative charge, which means it would have a charge of positive one. So it's a positive one charge. The reason it has a positive one charge is that when you take away the electron from a hydrogen atom, all you have left is a proton. That's all there is is a proton. There's no neutrons, there's no electrons. So what is a hydrogen positive one ion? It's really just a proton. So when a substance donates a proton, it's donating a H positive ion. Now that's the definition we have for an acid, for a base. Again, as far as science 30 is concerned, we'll just define it simply as a proton acceptor. So it's a substance that's capable of gaining an H positive. Now the reason we have this acid base equilibrium equation is an acid always has to go to the base. If you have a substance that's going to donate a proton, you have to have another substance that's going to accept it so that it has somewhere to go. So let's take a look at an acid base equilibrium equation and see what we're talking about here. See how we, we can see where uh, a proton is being donated and a proton is being accepted. So here's an example here. We're going to start with H3O positive AQ plus uh, HCO3, this is a hydrogen carbonate ion, AQ. And then what we're going to get is H2CO3 AQ plus H2O liquid. Now, this is what we call an equilibrium equation in that this reaction is reversible. It goes both ways. Uh, sometimes we'll see that written. Let me just use the proper symbol here. Sometimes we'll see that written with an arrow that looks like that. So if you see an arrow that looks like that, that just means the reaction goes in both ways. So over here we have reactants. And over here we have products. So the reaction can go that way. But the reaction can also go the opposite way, which means these would now be the reactants. And these would be the products. So it's possible for this reaction to go both ways. So what we're going to look at is we're going to look at what substance is donating a proton, what substance is accepting a proton in either direction that this reaction can go. In either the left to right direction or the right to left direction. All right, so let's start out using the left to right direction. And let's take a look at a substance that is donating a proton. Donating a proton, remember, means donating an H positive, giving away an H positive. So if I take a look at this substance right here, H3O positive, and I look at the other side of the equation, I can see that H3O positive is way over here becoming H2O without a positive anymore. In other words, it lost a hydrogen to go from H3 right there to H2. It lost a hydrogen. It also lost its positive. There's no positive up here anymore. So we say that that substance, the H3O positive, has lost an H positive. It is a, a proton donor. So this right here is our proton donor. Now the proton donor uh, is what we call the acid. So in this direction of the equation, H3O positive is our proton donor and is our acid. Now, anytime you have a proton donor, you have to have a proton acceptor. So where did that proton go? Well, where it went, that H positive right here, 
But this H positive that is given away by the H3O is given to the HCO3 negative because we can see the HCO3 negative has become H2CO3. In other words, it's gained a hydrogen because it went from H to H2, and it's gained a positive because that negative sign has disappeared. Well, the negative sign disappears because a negative plus a positive makes it neutral. So this is neutral. There is no uh, negative or positive sign there. So the substance that accepts the proton is going to be the HCO3 negative. So let's just clean this up a little bit. Okay, our HCO3 negative. This is going to be our proton acceptor. because it's going to gain the H positive from the H3O positive. So this is our base. So the substance that gives away the H positive is the acid. The substance that accepts the H positive is the base. Now, that's when the reaction's going in, this dire in the direction of left to right. Now, if we do the opposite direction, if we go the other way, well, then we're going to have things go a little bit differently. For example, if we go the other way, let's just use a maybe a red arrow to indicate the other direction here. So a red arrow. So if I see the H2CO3 is now becoming HCO3 negative, well, it must have given away an H positive to do that. It's losing an H because it's going from H2 to H, and it's going from neutral, where there's no charge, to a negative charge, which means it must have given away a positive to do that. So in this case, the H2CO3 is our proton donor and would be acting as an acid. And that leaves H2O. Well, if we look at what happens to H2O, it becomes now H3O positive. So that means it must have gained a hydrogen because it had two hydrogens. Now it has three hydrogens. It was neutral. Now it is positive. So it has gained an H positive, which means this is our proton acceptor which means H2O in the uh, right to left direction of the arrow is acting as the base. So we can always figure out which one is acting as an acid and which one is acting as a base by looking at what happens to the H positive. So let's take a look at an exam question here. So here we have a typical exam question from a, a diploma exam in science 30. So we have an equation that says the ionization of ethanoic acid. And we can see it's got that double arrow we were talking about. Actually, let me make that bigger so you can see it on your screen a little better. That's just too small. All right, see, I can make just a little bit bigger. All right, so hopefully you can see that now. So you can see the double arrow, which means it's going both ways. So the question is asking us for the proton donors in this equilibrium equation. So these would be the substances that are uh, donating or giving up a hydrogen. So if I take a look at the CH3COOH, I can see that it has become CH3COO negative. So what happened to the H? Well, that H positive must have been donated away, it must have been given away to the H2O because the H2O has become H3O positive. So it's clear to me that the hydrogen, the H positive, has been given away by CH3COOH, which means we are looking right here and we're looking right here. So we've got C and D as potential answers for this question. Now, let's take a look at another substance because there's more than one that's given away. We looked at one direction here, but let's look at the other direction. If we go in the other direction, I can see here the H3O has become H2O, which means it has given away a hydrogen. And it's given away the positive to become uh, neutral. There is no charge here. So H3 has become H2, so there is a donation of a hydrogen. So H3O positive is acting, this one right here, is acting as a proton donor. So that's right here, and we have our answer. Our answer is C.